filled my barrel uh, feed barrel back up with corn and uh, I feed whole corn to my chickens and guineas and ducks and whatever when they're adult birds now when they're young you can't feed that too and I've got what to call chops too uh, corn that's been pulverized but um, my chickens like this right here and it's cheap now in the winter when I keep them locked up because or more uh, in, when it's bad weather, snow or ice or whatever I might, we don't get much of that around here, but there'll be times that I keep them locked up. And in the winter, I keep um, laying pellets out all the time, even if they're running out. So I do supplement with that. This time of the year, I don't. Mine lay really good and they lay a real pretty uh, dark yolked egg. Uh, the shells are brown on all of our eggs, but uh, we got a few that lay green eggs. But anyway, no, this is not non-GMO. It's GMO, I'm sure. It's bought locally at my local feed store. Um, if you're into GMO, the whole thing I'm trying to say is I like to have a couple of these barrels filled up before winter. I got this one full, which it'll probably all feed can a day, so I'll use this up this summer. But before 1st October, I'll try to have two or three of these barrels filled up with corn. And the reason for that is, uh, if we ever have a bad time in our economy, uh, shortages, whatever, my finances run low, I've at least got feed to feed my birds so I can keep my chickens. If you got chickens, you got a meat source, and uh, they'll lay you eggs, plus you can eat some of them. And along with wild game where I live at, there's lots of rabbits and squirrels and deer, turkeys, wild hogs, so we, we could survive and have chicken to eat. And if you got eggs, you can make a meal on eggs. So anyway, feeding corn is my main, main supplement to my birds, and I feed one coffee can full of corn a day to my birds to everything I got one coffee can now in the winter I feed two coffee cans a day um, five pound coffee cans of corn and then they get all the laying pellets they want but a barrel like this a 55 gallon barrel of feed will last quite a while and I've got lids and uh, you just put your lid on there uh, this one got bent a little bit as some when I got it, it was already bent, but you want lids that'll seal. I ain't really having no bug problems, but I do have birds that uh, want to come in. You can see the bird droppings. They want to roost in this feed room and stuff, but nonetheless, I keep my feed in there. And uh, I like to take another barrel and have uh, wood chips in there. Um, wood shavings or whatever kind of stuff you want me to do. I put this in the nest and when I have baby chicks, whatever. But uh, getting back to the corn, um, the reason I mentioned corn is there's a possibility that corn prices are gonna go up. So if you could stockpile now, might be a good idea. We have local elevators uh, farmers that you can take a barrel like this over to and they'll fill it up for you and they'll charge you so much a barrel some of them will weigh your truck before and weigh your truck after we have scales close by but go by but I plan on having three or four of these filled up this summer while I've got a little extra money in the summer taken buy a little extra corn and put back um, I actually have a three ton wagon that I'll put chopped corn in but the chopped corn, it seems like that works better for your livestock. But for chickens, some tell me they won't eat this, and they will too. When they get up pretty good size, you know, when they're babies, you need to feed chick starter to them. But when they get bigger, the ducks, chickens, guineas, everything love this whole corn, and they'll clean her up. But in case prices get real high, you know how things go here. The speculators and everything will mess around with your corn and sometimes uh, cause you to have very high prices. So just uh, be heads up. I remember not long ago, it got up to like $12 for a 50 pound sack of corn. Now right now for a 50 pound sack of corn at uh, our local co-ops co like $5 and something. 
and you get about a bushel in a 50 pound sack of corn is roughly about a bushel so uh, you're getting five something a bushel I think at the elevator it's three something a bushel at this particular time but it's going to start going up I think I've seen some areas that at the elevators on the rivers it's getting up to four something so it's a good possibility that it'll start climbing and the reason for that is we've got all the floods and uh, catastrophes going on and uh, up through uh, Nebraska all the way down the Missouri River up the Mississippi's flooding the Arkansas River through Oklahoma uh, the Verdigris River here in Oklahoma and it has flooded a lot of the corn and some of the corn fields what didn't get flooded they just brush hogged down around here because it wasn't enough to make a crop to to mess with so they're going to replant something else in there so i'm just telling you a good chance that corn prices will skyrocket so if you start buying up some now just a little word of advice if you got a little extra money it don't cost a whole lot buy one of these barrels i think they're 20 bucks buy one with the lid fill it up wherever you can find the cheapest corn at fill it up or whatever kind of feed you feed because all chicken feed is going to have some kind of corn in it and I have noticed you know rabbit feed primarily has alfalfa in it but it even goes up when there's a shortage of corn so uh, I assume they put some corn in the rabbit pellets but it primarily is alfalfa but I just telling you everything's going to go up I think this year so if you buy up a little extra while you can might help you out on your homestead Hey, I appreciate you listening to me today and just a little word of wisdom from Cedar Creek Homestead. God bless you. We appreciate you watching today.